In this video we are taking a look at some of the epic Pontiac muscle cars, when it was at its greatest as a brand. We start with the 57 Star Chief Custom Bonneville. It entered the production lineup as a high-performance, fuel-injected luxury convertible version of the Star Chief in 1957. It had a Rochester fuel-injected 347 cubic inch engine rated at 310 horsepower. It made this car do 0 to 60 miles per hour in 8.1 seconds. It was only built 630 convertibles in 57. Next up is the 1963 Catalina 421, Swiss cheese. Thanks to a lot of aluminium body parts, aluminium headers and the Swiss cheese frame. The weight was cut by 400 pound from standard 3,725 pound. The 421 cubic inch engine was rated at 410 horsepower but said to be good for 500 horsepower when tweaked for race. This car could do a quarter mile in the 12.3 seconds at 115 miles per hour. It was only built 14 of this race car. Next on our list is 64 GTO Coupe. In its beginning the intent was to transform the upcoming second generation of the Pontiac Tempest model into a sporty car. GM wanted to compete with Ford's new model Mustang toward the youth market. The GTO had a 389 cubic inch engine rated at 348 horsepower. Made this car do 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.8 seconds. It was built 7,384 coupes in 64. Next up is the Pontiac Banshee 1 concept car. In 1964 Pontiac developed the XP833 project, a small two-seater with a long, sweeping hood and a short rear deck. Several different versions were constructed, but only two drivable prototypes were ever built. It was designed by John DeLorean and had a 3.8-liter overhead cam engine with 165 horsepower. The project got terminated by GM because of fear of impact the sale of Corvette. Now for the 1965 Catalina 2 Plus 2. For the 1965 model year standard features included heavy-duty springs and shock absorbers, a 3-speed synchromesh manual transmission, dual exhausts, and a performance axle ratio of 3.421. The engine was a unique 421 cubic inch V8 rated at 376 horsepower. It made this car do 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7 seconds. It was built 11,521 2 plus 2s in 65. Next up is the 67 Firebird 400. The first generation Firebird had characteristic Coke bottle styling shared with its cousin, the Chevrolet Camaro. It got the 335 horsepower 400 cubic inch engine from the GTO. It made this car do 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6 seconds. GM gave Pontiac a piece of the pony car market by sharing the F body platform with Chevrolet. Production numbers for Firebird 400. Two-door hardtop is not confirmed but should be around 15,000 cars in 67. Now to the 1969 Pontiac Trans Am. In March 1969, an optional handling package called the Trans Am Performance and Appearance Package, UPC, WS4, named after the Trans Am series, was introduced. One option was the 400 cubic inch Ram Air 4 engine rated at 345 horsepower and it made this car go 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 5 seconds. Only 55 Trans Ams was built with this engine option in 69. The same year, a new model, Judge, was introduced for the GTO. The Judge was to be competitive with the Plymouth Roadrunner. The package was more expensive than a standard GTO and included the Ram Air 400 engine rated at 370 horsepower, rally two wheels without trim rings, Hurst shifter, wider tires, various decals, and a rear spoiler. It was built 6,833 GTO having the judge package in 69. Now to the epic 69 luxury coupe Grand Prix 428. The 1969 Grand Prix was designed by John DeLorean, and GM converted the full-size Grand Prix to the smaller A-body sedan chassis it was an immediate success. The SJ version got a 370 horsepower 428 cubic inch or the optional 390 horsepower high output engine. Both models were available with a Muncie 4-speed or a Turbo 400 automatic. Only 676 cars was built with 4-speed manual. Next up is the second generation Firebird and the 1970 Formula 400. The debut for the 1970 model year was delayed until February 26. Replacing the Coke bottle styling was a more swoopy body style. 
the Formula 400 could be optioned to receive the L78 four-barrel 400 that produced 330 horsepower or the L74 Ram Air 3 400 rated at 345 horsepower. 7708 Formula 400 was built in 70. The Tempest model line received another facelift for the 1970 model year and the judge package remained available as an option on the GTO. The suspension was upgraded with the addition of a rear anti-roll bar, same bar as used on the Oldsmobile 442 and Buick Grand Sport. The judge came standard with a Ram Air 400 V8 rated at 336 horsepower. The 455 high output engine was not offered on the judge until late in the year. 3,797 judges was built in 1970 and of those only three cars was sold with a 455 engine. In 1971 the T37 chassis took over for the Tempest line and was available with a GT option and the 455 cubic inch engine. The GT version was often called the poor man's GTO. But with the 455 big block engine it could take on most of the competition and did 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds. Of the T37 line included the cars built with the GT37 option package only 54 were sold with the 455 engine. And last but not least, the 1977 Pontiac Trans M, Bandit Edition, a legend of a car. Not for its performance in engine power, but for the iconic appearance in the movies with Burt Reynolds behind the wheel. Without a doubt the most famous Pontiac of all time. It was offered a high-performance version of the 400 cubic inch engine called TA6.6 code W72. It was rated at 220 horsepower. It was built 6,459T Top Special Edition Code Y82 Trans Ams in 77. That's it for this video guys. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.